Welcome everybody to my Hearts of Iron Germany guide for ED I'm, I mean beginners. For beginners, I do have a bunch of DLC, I mean every DLC on. I will note whenever certain special instances come up. For example, if I want to design a tank, if you don't have a no step back, you will not see this screen and you won't be able to design this tank. I will just note whenever this happens because I am not going to go through every single instance of every DLC that you have or that you could have because if I do that I will spend the next 90 hours on a very simple Germany guide. For the most part these things should not matter. First of all we are going to shift click the little red guys up here and then just assign them with right click. Haha, <laughs> because it's a beginner's, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what level you are at. Uh, we're just gonna shift click a bunch of this for mill factories. As always, you can watch the entire thing on my side channel. If I do some weird jump and you're like, oh wait, what just happened? Why are we building mill factories? Just mill factories because of Germany. Germany is in a very interesting position because we are going to annex all of Austria. We are going to annex the Czechs. We are gonna puppet the Slovaks. We're gonna puppet Hungary, Romania, and very easily conquer the Benelux, Poland, France. You're also gonna conquer the entire Commonwealth very early. So we don't need to focus on the factories as well as we do have the Mifo Bills, which means mill factory construction speed 25%. Look at that. Uh, it takes us one month to build a single uh, single mill factory. By the time that the war kicks off, we're gonna have like 200 factories almost. Focus us. We're gonna start with the Rhineland, which gives us a bunch of PP. In terms of research, basic machine tools, construction one, and electronic mid. Then we're gonna research with Mauser and just give me like five minutes. If you don't have MIOs, that's fine. These are just some buffs that you give to your uh, industry, not industry, to your productions. There we go, that's the infantry design. My opinion on MIOs changes every single game. They're either super cool or extremely annoying. Oh, Jesus. Why do we have so many designers? I think I'm gonna go with Focke Wolf for our medium planes that should be fucking all for our fighters decisions mifo bills pff, honestly just ignore them twice a year they will increase in cost but we honestly don't really care we're gonna steal the austrian gold we're gonna steal the gold from czechoslovakia and for some reason this guy also has insane pp gains so we're not really gonna like if i could i would keep that buff until the end of the game but at some point we will go to war so we're gonna lose dutch don't really care about the dutch we are trading with the swedes but we shall not trade with the swedes anymore all they do is give me some weird licorice anyway like for example this one this one is milk chocolate and within it is licorice or this one is just a brick of licorice or i've also seen licorice crisps that gives us a whole two factories. Chuck one on trains, chuck a few on AA. If you want to, you can just keep the stuff around the... The, 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 the Navy. The Navy that's produ being produced, you can just keep it around. I mean, it's trash. That's not a very good heavy ship. It's Navy in Hartzweiland, it's not gonna matter. The best Navy is a naval bomber. The second best Navy is a Navy that you stole. And I'm gonna follow the second amendment in that regard. That's looking very good for me and that's it. We can go. We can also shift left click all of our boats, move them over here, drag all of our planes and shoot them. We're gonna give all of the non-infantry to Rommel and the rest we can give to... let's give them to Leib. Shift a left click to exercise. Fuck, they're all <laughs> exercised already. Fine, I didn't want army XP anyway. <laughs> I forgot I have the German edition again, so a few of these guys are a little bit shy and Hitler is not shy because he's a very happy man. A Bormann. And then we can get this German-Swedish trade agreement. A new focus, which I assume is part of the base game. If it's not, you will just have to trade a little bit of tanks in a way. Like that's, that's what you used to do with Germany anyway. Right, then we can get Halder. Very nice division attack is the most important stat after getting your cap to org i guess right and now we can also get radios super important the five percent reinforce rate if you don't have that that's very bad and we are gonna get the swedish uh swedish tungsten a uh, bunch of our AA over to rt that's much more important let's design a new garrison division the strongest one we can build a single horse yeehaw 
a whole horse, if you so will. Yo, what's it a Jojo ref? But first, we can go for the four-year plan. We're gonna go with this first industry. Is that the name of Ethiopia? Like the local name of Ethiopia? That's scuffed. Uh, where was I? That ledger just broke me. <laughs> We're also gonna get Kesselring. As for research, just in general, keep up to date with the electronic engineering. So the research buffs every two years and then every odd year you're gonna get concentrated improved machine tools construction auto key just because i like it i'm gonna get cop now it's not the best use of my pp but i do like research buffs <laughs> i'm a simple man thing if you have the dlc you can get professional officer core for more army xp gain then we just check divisions out because we're playing germany we do have some weird restrictions like we do need a certain amount of manpower in the field to make demands and because of that i'm going to duplicate this template and um, we can readjust this into the proper template that you do want once we have the army xp <laughs> by the way we're gonna get logistics companies we're gonna raid the democrats and the communists get a bit more gamer support Wait. then we can get the additional research slot and we might as well get excavation too. I'm gonna get extensive conscription. We don't need it yet, but don't really care that much about optimizing this. The game is lenient enough where you can make some suboptimal place if you want to call it that. I'm just gonna get a few more tags here for planes if you don't have the plane DLC to uh, buy blood alone, um, then... <laughs> for now, this is gonna be our line infantry. I would like to add flame tanks at some point, but uh, for that we need engineer companies too, which is a 1939 tag. I'm gonna launch this now. If you want to, you can also create a spy agency and uh, just check when the Austrians complete their focus just so we get a few more mill factories or a few more factories if they do their efforts. But I'm not gonna mention it from this point on. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm just gonna put the troops on the Austrian border. It shouldn't matter. They should still accept, but it's a nice habit to form if you demand something. Just put your troops on the borders. There are pretty much free naval techs that you want, I mean, apart from transport ships, but free free naval techs that you need before you fight. If you don't have them, it's gonna be super costly, so you want damage control, fire control methods, and the smoke generators. If you don't have them, your navy can be shredded. And the Germans, I mean the Austrians are German now. Now we can get War Econ. I will go for Großkampfwirtschaft now. What? That's the, the, wow. I will remember that. And our next target will be the Czechs. In the meantime, I shall also get the Abwehr going, but this Abwehr will be a lot more useful than the historical Abwehr. And I think I'm also gonna start producing some Opels and we're gonna get from the Dutch East Indies just something rubbery. And then we are gonna align Romania. We're also gonna get radio detection. Radar stations are gonna be our big friend. Ugh, none of these are actually that interesting. I guess we can get the commando and then I'm gonna uh, align Hungary as well. And after that, we can get the rest going. So let's get Canagas. I guess we're gonna need Goebbels now. Gives us a little bit more gamer support. Sure, um, there we go. We're gonna sell some bombers to the Yugoslavians. And we're at 10% consumer goods, the lowest we can get. And we're gonna get the Sedusa. I might as well send her over here already into Vladivostok. Just as a reminder so I don't forget about it, we shall demand the Sudetenland. Bold attack and maneuver warfare, as well as aircrew service and centralized control. Then we can also get Schörner. It's very early, but I'm gonna get the engineers already. That tank is ass, but I'm still gonna produce it just now. Not because I wanna use it, but we can convert it later. I should've made a cheaper tank then. Let's get the first Vienna award. Uh, let's get the... How is this going? Because I do need them now. Yeah, let's get Fritsch now. And then Fate of Czechoslovakia. Actually, I also want the heavy MGs. So a lot of ahead of time stuff, but it's gonna be worth it. Keep on building in high infrastructure provinces. The shade mainly means um, how many buildings are in there. For example, this one is not at all green. It's used one out of the 11 building slots. This one is almost full, which is why it's super green. Yugoslavia, doesn't matter. Just put the squeeze on them. Like, that is one of the decisions that seriously have no effect on the game. Just get the puppet. I mean, 
doesn't really matter. But with that you have 50% compliance, so then we're gonna put all of our troops on the Yugoslav border. And we can invite Hungary. So you have 90% intel network, just put it on, put on quiet intel, so that way she's not gonna be shot. Intel agencies just get the, the top line, S pills, commando training, and the bottom line. Those are interesting. The other stuff is also nice, but that is the minimum stuff I would go for. We shall demand Slovenia. You really don't like it, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to live with it. The Panzer free R. And then we click this nice button. So we're gonna convert the tanks that we just created, and then we have super fast, super good tank. What? I've played Germany 20, 30 times. That is the first time that the French went for the French alliance. Usually the French don't form the French alliance. They join the British and then they just, like Yugoslavia just folds. You can get Croatia, which is Bosnia, but eh, it's called Croatia. Since we can't do that, we're gonna resort Eastern claims. The very complicated uh, fighter design. It's gonna be turned into something else in a minute, but yeah, we need another 23 days. God, early tanks are ass. But I guess this is what we're gonna have to go with. And then we can just convert all of you into Panzer Division. Don't really care about the border with Hungary. There we go. I'm actually gonna get maintenance just for our tanks because they are really ass. Rommel, you can go here. There we go. Into Katowice and Krakow. Keep on importing rubber. That is our biggest weakness right now. One fun thing you can do is Danzig for Slovakia. You get Danzig and a bunch of stuff here and you lose Slovakia, which is completely useless to you anyway. So you don't have to worry about the Polish border, but you're not gonna get Danzig as a core because Paradox forgot about it. Danzig a war is the proper thing to do. I think I just heard my grandpa come. Maintenance companies. We can re recognize Bulgarian claims. I'm not gonna do that. And we can invite Romania. Yes, there we go. Just in time because I was gonna go for integrate war economies next. I'm gonna make a save here. You shouldn't need it to. The AI, as far as I know, always accepts this. But it's also the first time that this has happened to me. So I don't know what's gonna happen today. Maybe I'll be shot. I did an oopsie. I need this one. Then I'm gonna plonk you down on the Yugo border. And then we just chuck you onto this border. Actually, we do need a lot more medium tanks if I want to go. Let's do something like this then. We have drawn a few front lines, a few borders, a few attack orders. And I shall actually... Schulz? Yes. You go over here. And then we take you, you also unassign and all, everybody moves over here. And then we prepare a naval invasion, which I should have done earlier, but uh, there we go. We have satellited Deutsch Romania, Deutsch Romania, okay. And Deutsch Miaklutz. And then we can go for Danzig or war already. And by the time that the war kicks off, we will have enough medium tanks. It's a garrison template. And then you just chuck down five billion of them and put them on ports. But for the beginning, I'm not going to do this. The Allies, from experience, I think in 1940 is the earliest they started navally invading you. Right, we stacked up our navies earlier. Now we can properly assign them. Press G so that only one guy has the entire fleet. We're gonna get Dönitz in power because he has a lot of attack, attack very good. I'm still gonna declare war on both of these at the same time to simulate France having the guarantee in Poland. There's only a few differences here then. Number one, we're gonna be at war with Yugoslavia, which is usually not the case. Number two, if we take out France, we're gonna get all of France. For this reason, I'm gonna play this a little bit differently. Usually you would just blitz France and then, you know, you can take the UK. But because we will, if we take out France, we're gonna get all of France. And you know, that isn't really simulating what, how it would be because of this. I will try and cap the UK before we take out France and then take out France because taking out France is piss easy, but I want this to be as accurate as it can be after 
this. I never realized that the names of divisions don't change if you reassign them. Interesting. Uh, we can wait for these guys, these guys, but I'm not gonna wait for these guys. So once they are prepared, naval invasion is prepared. I'm gonna send one of you over to Britain just in case we need it. Naval superiority intel. Get all of your cast and all of your fighters out. Chuck them on the tanks with cast and air superiority. We don't have enough planes yet where we can make a... I mean, I can do this instead, but you know, we don't have that many planes yet. We will declare war on Poland. And again, to simulate, we're going to declare war on Yugo. These guys cannot go. Okay, that's a bummer, but uh, this should solve itself because we have low intel right now. That's why I got the naval department and also why I put the spy into the UK. Might as well use a second spy here. And then we can use our tanks. Look at them go. Our infantry in this case does not have a very uh, prestigious role, but a very important role because they're just gonna run after our tanks so that our tanks don't get encircled. There we go, we have actually landed. <laughs> I haven't checked over here, but we have landed, which means we're just gonna chuck all of our divisions over here, which is all of these. And then we just spread these units out to conquer land. Yeah, we might as well get cryptology on the Soviets. First goal that we have with taking the UK is splitting the UK up. There we go. The AI is super confused now. You can see the AI completely ran away from this front. Shift left click on this arrow so that only this arrow starts and not the entire front for this guy. And we actually have an encirclement here. <laughs> and you know what, let's get a smaller encirclement here as well. Oh fuck, I undersigned the tanks earlier. <laughs> If you don't want to micro these few fronts, that's perfectly fine. Usually you won't have to worry about this front, so it's easier to handle. You can also auto the Polish front. I just do it to conserve a little bit of manpower as well. For Britain, you can just say, okay, I don't care about Britain right now. Keep those units here. Later on, you can focus on Britain. I'm pinning with these divisions so that this guy can go into Sheffield. There we go. I'm just gonna clean up the Polish front a little bit. We have encircled a big chunk of their army, so they shouldn't really have that much fight in them after we are done here. Actually gonna do this, that way our convoys are not gonna go through the channel, which is super dangerous for our convoys. Then I'm gonna bump our repair queue up so more of our dockyards are on repair. For this I'm honestly just gonna auto it, but I will make this border smaller and smaller from time to time. Because the AI really likes big borders and I don't like big borders. <laughs> you can just see what the tanks are doing with the front. I'm gonna shuffle a few units over here just to defend. You might have realized I have not called in any of my allies simply because I want all the land and the allies usually just ruin it for you. Poland is out. I will put some troops on the Danish border with these guys just to rush to London. We might not be able to take it, but that's fine. Right now we only want to make the border bigger. Oh no! I think <laughs> I took those guys. Uh, okay, but that's fine. I do have units prepared for just this occasion. This is not my first time playing Hearts of Iron. I know when I'm being an idiot. <laughs> that's when I boot the game up. <laughs> right, then let's visa boom. Waste a little bit of XP. Yeah, but we have everything that we need for our air, air stuff, so it's fine. Soviet German trade agreement. Yes, please. More resources. And then I guess we're gonna visa übung. There we go. We can just puppet Denmark and we get the butter front. Yes, give me. Don't trust me, we will backstab you just annex. It looks like the British have given up. There we go. You can puppet a bunch of stuff here, but I don't really care. I will puppet the Raj just because I don't want to garrison all of that. And then we're gonna puppet the rest of Canada, war reps, resource rights, and all of the navies. Now, if we take a look at our garrisons, there we go. Uh, stockpiles should be very red now. Yep. Additionally, we can get a Rommel now, some press censorship. And also, if you want to do this properly, you make a border, a front line, but I don't, I can't be asked. So let me just look at this, this wasn't worth it. Or this wouldn't have been worth it. 2% research speed for the ball bearings. I'll take it. We can also start doing some collaboration governments for the Soviets. And now let's just zoom into Paris. The French never saw this coming. No, I misclicked. <laughs> France, Annex. Belgium, Annex. Netherlands, Annex. Yugoslavia, Annex. Dutch East Indies. Yeah, sure, Annex as well. Now we do have a little fall in our sides. 
that's fine. Economy is gonna be crippled now because we have finished the war. The companies want their money back. Patience with Yugoslavia is indeed running thin because they don't exist anymore. Flame tanks, just produce the cheapest bullshit that you can, give them those blades and then fuel drums. Keep in mind, they should have at least 8k mage. I don't know why I zoned out and never finished that. This is gonna be our tank for the Soviets. There we go. And we can prepare a naval invasion into Norway. I don't think we need it. Kisling should pop up. And then just keep on pumping out more mills. But at this point, like, I don't think I need to guide you any. Actually, yeah, I, I will guide you with the next big wars. They're not hard, but uh, they can have a few quirks in them, you know. Bulgaria wants to join the Axis, sure, might as well. Mussolini, Mussolini, Mussolini. I hate you, Romania! That's why I usually annex them. But fine, we're gonna get it back. You know what, I'm just gonna declare war. Ah! Okay, so there's an event. If you don't want to navally invade, you can just get Kiesling. And I think we're gonna get him as a puppet then, but... I'm just gonna take you myself. And then you can also improve national spirit. You pretty much have unlimited PP then. The tripod I packed. <laughs> At this point, I don't need it anymore, my friend. We also don't need the reliability anymore. We can get medium flame tanks for you, and we can give you medium flame tanks as well. And then you just go on Blitzkrieg and modern Blitzkrieg if you want to use tanks. If not, superior firepower. What? I said no. I guess we're gonna invite Norway, even though I didn't want Norway. Bulgaria has given us the IMRO. Just move a few troops over to Macedonia and then do the two IMRO decisions. We probably won't be able to take even a single piece here. Just because it's a core of them. Yeah, just give me the navy, I guess. Oh, I got one piece. We can build factories in them now. Wait a minute! I wasn't even in that war. Number two, the UK doesn't exist anymore. And then I would also like to research... The Sonderkraftfahrzeug. And then we can get our core on Macedonia back. Macedonia is not a core of Germany, but Paradox does not care. You can just core it if you have Bulgaria. Once Romania has been annexed, we can start with our war. Still need 150 days for our uh, medium tanks. In that case, let's do something like this. We could help the Italians, but also I don't care. And then one thing that is quite important, let's do this. And there we go, we have our core in Macedonia back. You're not Zog. Where did you come from? I would like to switch to mechanized now for our medium tanks. So let's also get the Sintekovitz Elf ready. Something like this should be fine for the beginning. Hey, Romania! <laughs> uh, that was a good one. And the Romanian guys, I'm just gonna shoot because I can't be asked. And sadly, we will have to destroy all of these now because it's bugged if we don't radar station this and air bases everywhere here might as well get himmler exercise these planes as well there we go we should have green air everywhere now you shouldn't have that many planes yeah there we go let's go in oh fuck i forgot about finland you're also gonna join the war huh now for the most fun part of any Hearts of Iron game. You are way too strong. Now you're just gonna wait until the Soviets grind up against. The Soviets are trying to be a little bit cheeky here. There we go, I'm just cycling a few planes into areas that are more important. Yeah. You didn't even justify on me. Fine, don't really care. Because right now I have a different goal. Support rocket RT added to the tanks. I do want to greed a little bit. <laughs> I could invite Iran, but I don't want to because then they're gonna call in Italy and all that. And then might as well go down to close economy. When did you become a puppet of mine? Let's upgrade bottlenecks here because these guys are still running out of supply. They're affected by attrition. Okay, Stalin, uh, you don't really have planes anymore. Let's get some, a little bit of cash out then. And with that range, that's almost not even considered cash anymore. <laughs> At least not a close part of cash. RT specialist, yes. Supply problems have been fixed. 5 million losses versus 300k. But I think it's time we do a little counterattacking by putting up all our cash. Rommel is ready. Let's just wait for the planning bonuses. Let's go. And look at the ghost division. 
<laughs> don't even care how inefficient this is, it's just fun. Oh fuck, the Raj is doing their bullshit. Yeah, we, we, we don't wanna be a, a puppet anymore, okay. You don't want to be a puppet anymore? What to do with our tanks? Let's get... Let's get Crimea. Honestly, with our planes, we can't probably just auto battle plan the entire Soviet front. Oh, finally, here's Panzer Expert. Uh, let's take a look at the collaboration governments. Okay. Ah, fuck. I sent the American guy away. No. If you do this, just take out Denmark. I didn't know they also had a stupid... Oh, we are so quirky and cool, we get to declare war as a puppet event. Unternehmen, Unternehmen, Herbstnebel. <laughs> Doppelkopf! <laughs> this thing is called Operation Operation. Okay, fine, Paradox. If you want to say so, then that's sure. Supply. Let's just take Bryansk. This is pretty much the rest of the Soviet war. You snipe supply hubs, you make sure that you have 90% collaboration governments prepared, encircle enemy divisions with your tanks, and if you don't use tanks, I recommend doing encirclements with your infantry. If not, battle plans will be viable, but expensive. I'm gonna give you truck truck supply. 10.2 million Soviets for 500,000 Germans. I think you should go home, Stalin. And now you just do the sensible thing, annex all of it. Psychological warfare? Fuel usage? Okay, let's get mill access from the Americans. Might as well get advanced landing craft. And then let's drop into Hiroshima as well as Osaka. Ah shit, for the joke I should have taken Nagasaki. Can you please start getting an expert delegator? Jesus. Nope. I mean, 42% uh, for skilled staff, okay. We're not gonna get it this game. Italy looks so puny compared to Germany in this instance. I don't think he's ever gonna win. Franco! If you do want a world conquest, you can now very easily just start justifying. Because we are still at war with Japan, because we're fascist and still at war with Japan. Justifications are super quick and if you then just uh, finish off Japan, they will all cap at the same time so you won't have to invade anybody. World conquests at this stage are just waiting. So I'm not gonna do it here, but you can watch it. Yeah. No, you're just speeding up what I wanted to do anyway, but also kind of fuck you. Oh, those borders are so ass. Okay, doing it. You should be here. Uh, let's just do convoy raiding, I guess. We should have enough power for that. Uh, okay, wait a minute. That is my mistake. There we go. And then you lot can start. We're gonna join your war. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very nicely timed civil war and the Swiss do have points. Portugal? Wait a minute. You didn't do anything. Am I taking this? I'm taking this tile before- I took the tile before divisions. Wow. Those weren't the marines or anything. That was just four raw divisions. Of course I can't move to Shikoko because why would I be able to? I fucking hate straights in this game, man. Uh, hmm. Now that I think about this, probably not that smart to take out Japan now. Because seriously, just look at this. They just need to walk into Yan'an. Ah yes, the strait that's blocked by enemy fleet. Cannot move through straits blocked by enemy fleet. I see, yes. A whole zero enemy ships. There we go, we can now take Japan. The home isles have been freed. And next order of business or order of battle, depending on who you ask, Shanghai. There wasn't even anybody here. Big surprise, the China war is pretty much the same as the Soviet war. We there we go. I'm gonna annex Switzerland. I'm gonna annex Portugal. I'm gonna annex, oh shit. At least get a few things here, a few things here. Wait, the Philippines? Okay. Oh, come on, please. There's just one final thing left. I should probably also justify on the US if I want to declare war on them. Once you do declare war on the US, do not forget about Alaska. I did put a few troops here, uh, but I didn't give them an order. Thank God I, I listened to myself here. And the Americans are gonna be cringe here, so... If you do it properly, use garrison divisions, else they will invade around you and just screw you over. Let's annex Canada and look at the entire border just turning green. <laughs> I did create the garrison divisions earlier. I've not produced a single one. <laughs> you know, I'm living on the edge. I don't like to use garrison divisions. I'm a cool guy. The skater girl boy. Um, sk skater boy. 
There we go, we have 60% compliance on the Earth. Again, if you want to properly world conquest, stay at war with a major. Don't piece them out, which for now, I mean, we can just declare war on Shibi and because they are a major, because they're a faction leader, uh, we will get the reduced things, the reduced justification time, so you can clean up all of those borders that I forgot about. That is the beginner's guide to Germany. With this, you can easily world conquest. And if you do enjoy guides like this, I can do a few more, like the Soviets, the US, potentially also just in-depth guides for, you know, stats of all of those units, what all those mean, how you should build them, 